And even more changes are going to be in store for you when it comes to the weather. Surprise, surprise. Uh, David Singleton's been saying that for a couple of days now. Yeah, it's, it's another beautiful day in the forecast. Uh, even tomorrow's going to be pretty nice with some a uh, little more cloud cover around than uh, what we've seen for the last several days. Uh, but overall, uh, it's going to be nice, too. So uh, take a look at this, though. You remember a year ago when we had like six tenths of an inch of rainfall <clears throat> in parts of uh, southeast Louisiana, and the temperatures were brutally cold. All that rain that fell, and it wasn't much, uh, created an ice lick all over the causeway and caused the causeway to be closed down. Uh, created some hazardous conditions for many of us across southeast Louisiana. Uh, not the same today. If you were watching our 10 o'clock broadcast last night, you kind of saw Margaret showing that picture and talking a little bit about it as well. Uh, for us today, I think it's going to be another beautiful day. Temperatures will be warmer tomorrow. Rain is going to be back with us. This weekend, and I think the the best chance of seeing that rainfall is going to be on Sunday, not so much so on Saturday. That frontal boundary that I showed you yesterday, that was just up to the north of us. Well, now it's to the south of us, which is why we have the lower temperatures that we are experiencing uh, this morning. All the snowfall that was occurring in parts of the northeast that is continuing to move out of that area. For us here locally, our radar picture is nice and clear. The skies are clear. Uh, they'll be about the same later on this afternoon. No rainfall is forecasted for today or through the rest of the week. In fact, as I put the model into motion, looking pretty nice this afternoon. No cloud cover around the area at all. I guess the best chance of rainfall over the next couple of days is going to be on uh, Thursday night. This is Thursday afternoon, though, at 3 o'clock. You can see some more partly cloudy conditions. Here's a little bit of that rain potential, especially for the Mississippi Gulf Coast, maybe parts of the North Shore for uh, Thursday evening and early on Friday morning when it becomes mostly cloudy. But otherwise, Friday afternoon, after that, the, that front that I just showed you makes its way through the area, mostly another dry front, just bringing us a reinforcing shot of cool air. It's also going to bring us some clear skies for Friday, but into your weekend, looks like the cloud cover is going to roll back in for Saturday, and then the rainfall chances go up on Sunday. But temperatures just up to the north of us in Jackson at 42 degrees. Memphis is at 37. Over in Atlanta there at the freezing mark at 32. For us here locally at the airport, it's 50 degrees and clear skies, 68 percent humidity. The wind's moving at about 7 miles per hour. And here's a look at your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. I'm thinking by 9 a.m. we're all somewhere in the low 50s uh, by noontime, mid to upper 50s. Your highs this afternoon in the low to mid 60s at 10 mile per hour. Wind will be with us pretty much all day long today and into the early evening hours. And then if you are making plans to head out to watch the Pelicans beat up on the Nuggets, looking kind of chilly outside in parts of the area, temperatures falling into the low 50s once again. Here's a quick look at your seven day forecast, and you will notice that rise in temperature tomorrow, that drop in temperature on Friday, and then the rainfall chances into the weekend.